to my channel. If you are new to this channel, welcome to the Apple Kiwi channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a new equipment that I just got in my kitchen to you guys. I'm going to be doing kind of unboxing. It's not really unboxing because I've already opened it and see what is inside. So I'm going to be sharing it to you guys. And this uh, machine I'm talking about is very useful for pounding yam. That's the sweetest part for me, right? So today, that is what I'm going to be sharing to you. This equipment was given to me during our end of the year party in my office when we were playing Scrabble game and I won and this is the gift I got. And this other one, yeah, it was during my boss, our uh, daughter's wedding. So I got this as a souvenir and she told me that she purposely gave it to me because I just moved to a new apartment. So let me quickly show you what the uh, equipment have before we go for that to what they do. So this one is, I don't know, okay. This one is easy spin cutter and it's more or less the same thing like the other one. Look at it. It said it's, these are the three things it is meant used for. The spin cutter, easy spin cutter. That is what it's meant to do. That is what was written there. So this one, this is it. It is written kitchen specialist, Mr. Steel. And what I saw here is double button electric meat, meat grinder. That is what was written there and it is three liter. So but, but that is not what I'm going to be using it for. So I'm going to be showing you guys what is in it. So let's be unboxing the game. If you are yelling, chuk, 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 it's because my yam is cooking. So this is everything it needs. It has this top, a grinder. I think this is the engine. This is the engine. So it's supposed to be like this. And it has a cover, a lid. And it has this in it. So these are like a blade. These are the blades. And the blades are covered up. Look at it. For protection because it is so sharp. And this is the bowl. So this is everything that is in it. Right here. So this is everything. You can see. So. It's already clean though. I love the fact that it is a stainless steel. It is a stainless steel. Yeah. And look at the blade. I love the safety, the safety uh, cover that was put here to cover the blade because the blade is so sharp. I love the safety, uh, the safety cover to cover up the blade. Yeah. So right now I'm going to be removing it one after the other because we want to make use of it right now. So when you are removing it, make sure you are very, very careful. As in extra careful when removing it because I think you should just push it to the back a little bit like this. I hope you guys are saying you push it to the back a little bit like this, then you bring it out like this. And make sure you place it somewhere that is very close so that it doesn't get lost. Push it to the back, you bring it out. You push it to the back, you bring it out. You push it to the back and bring it out. So this is it. This is what the blade looks like. So right now I'm going to be placing it here in the middle of it. Let me show you guys. So it's going to go into this. So that is how it will be stay. Before we go for that, let me quickly show you how we use this. So right now, I'm going to be putting my yam inside. Inside this. So let me quickly show you guys the amount of yam that is in it. So this is the amount of yam that I'm going to be using for my pan of yam. So I'm going to cover it up like this. And the next thing I'm going to be doing is to make sure this thing keys into it. So right now what I'm going to be doing is 
blending this thing so that you guys can see you can see that i've not even touched it let me bring it up for you guys so that you can see it's still very intact like that so and on this it has some like boss and one like one line and two lines so right now i'm going to be make sure i'll make sure that it keys in so we start by pressing the two or we start with what you can it depends on what you want to do you can press the one or the two so i'm going to press one first and you make sure that you hold it very tightly because it's going to be shaky so you hold it very well and you this is just the photo that i did let me quickly show you what is inside right now have a look so you guys can see okay so i'm going to be using the second one now the two so that i want because i want it to be very fast trust me our pandemic is ready trust me when i say our pandemic is ready look at this <laughs> look at this look at this so it's not well blended yet but look at this let me quickly bring out it's all ah. like look at it look at this so that is why i said there's no no worries again making me powdered yam you don't need to worry yourself all you need to do is get this equipment for your kitchen or gadget or utensils anything you want to call it just get it for your kitchen and that is all all you need to do is just to press it like this with no stress nothing nothing and your pandemic is ready Easy spin cutter because it has the same features like uh, the other one. Let me show you guys. Look at it. This is everything that is in this the cover, and it has the same blade just like that one too. And this is it. So it has something that will hook this beneath it. So I want to use it. I want to try it with the yam as well. If it's going to do the same work with the electric electronic one okay so this is a manual one this is how we use this so i want to try out some yam on it to see how it's going to turn out to be i guess so this is all the yam in it so i want to try this out as well to see if it's going to do the same work as that other way okay it's keyed <laughs> smaller quantity then you can go for this one you get yeah let me try it once it worked actually but not fully blended like the other one there like the electronic one here you get so that is my 
experiment with this with these two gadgets so that is what i was able to achieve with them so if you this water is okay but not you know there's cocoa in it you know when i say cocoa there is you know what i mean by cocoa so there's cocoa in it you can actually eat it but there's cocoa in it it's not very smooth like the pounded yam okay so that is what i was able to achieve with this one but the other one actually came out smooth you can see what i was able to achieve with this one and this one so that is what i have for you guys today so if you like what you see kindly give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime a new video like this drop okay so i'll see you in my next one bye for now i don't want to make this out because there is pounded yam here bye for now <laughs>